Hey folks, I wanted to film a quick tutorial on spiral wraps today. So uh, before I really start the tutorial, I want to show you the two main methods that are typically used for spiral wraps, because mine's a little bit different. And if I don't explain those, then some of the things I say about mine that I prefer won't really make sense. So uh, the most common method, I believe, is what people call the turtle method or um, hand or palm to back of hand. So the way that that works is just like that. You've got two hands and they're gonna be like that. And the nice thing about that is you have a poi coming out where your thumbs come out. So you have your poi perfectly opposite so that that'll just help maintain perfect lengths when you're doing the spiral wraps. So I will demonstrate that a couple times here. They have to forgive me. I uh, am not super good with these other methods because I haven't used them in years. So there's the turtle method. Um, if you can just ignore how sloppy it is, there are some other problems I'd like to point out. One is uh, that big handles do get in the way. The other problem is that um, you are wrapping around both of your hands, kind of in the widest part, right in your hand here. So that makes it so that the poi really don't complete very many orbits around your hand before the spiral wrap reaches its smallest point and rebounds it back the other direction. So they can be good for going fast, but it's not a very long, dramatic move, and that's what I think the spiral really stands out as. So the other method, this is gonna be even sloppier, by the way, I haven't done this way in years, uh, is palm to palm. Now with palm to palm, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're going palm to palm like that, usually on a side. Uh, the benefit of this is, I don't really know that there is one. This is the main way that people do it with like glow sticks. I know this is a way that I always did it when I was glow stringing. Um, another issue with this is obviously handles are right in the way and you've got both of them together. So let's see if I can throw a couple of these in. Went into the wrong kind of neck. Now, with those, uh, again, uh, pretty sloppy with them, uh, but the issue is that both boy are right next to each other. That makes it a little bit more difficult to uh, keep perfect split time. I'm sure you can find some old video of mine where I was doing it with glow sticks where it didn't seem like an issue, and I definitely used to be better with that than I am right now, uh, but it's still something that you're kind of battling. So onto the way that I do spiral wraps. Uh, when I do spiral wraps, I, uh, I do them on one wrist like this. And in my opinion, this provides a much more dramatic effect because the spiral lasts that much longer and you can really snap out of them, in my opinion. Now I'll do a side view and then kind of explain what all is happening when I do a spiral like this. So the main, uh, so if I'm spinning, actually first I should explain. So notice I am switching arms. So when I'm spinning to the left side of my body like this, I'm gonna do my spiral wrap on my right arm, okay? Now when I spin to the left, to the, to the right side of my body, um, I'm gonna be doing the spiral wrap on my left arm, okay? And when you bounce them back and forth, that's how it looks. So the benefits of this type of spiral wrap. For one, um, you're wrapping both poi around one wrist, which is the smallest point you can find usually, okay? And that leads to the poi completing several more wraps around before they pop back and change direction. Also, um, it's really consistent. When you're putting your hands together, there's a lot of different ways where the handles can end up laying. There are a lot of ways where your fingers will be sitting and there's a lot of like finesse to it. And you kind of just eliminate a lot of that variation when you're doing your spiral wraps and just wrapping them both around one arm because there's not a whole lot you can do to change the circumference of your wrist. Uh, another benefit of this way is you can wrap your poi on kind of like different parts of your arm. So I'm gonna have my right poi wrap like all the way up here at the wrist where my left poi are wrapping all the way up here. So if I'm spinning some big poi and I don't want them getting tangled, or with these, because they're kind of stick together, it can be a pain when they get tangled, I can just keep them completely separate. So the poi are ne aren't even really on the same, they're on the same plane, but they're kind of in a different, they're in different spaces.
like that. So I'm going to quickly break down the, uh, the couple of steps to this and then we'll call that it. So if you're doing, the first step is going to be just making sure you're comfortable doing it with one hand. So you're going to be spinning, do a couple wraps. As that wraps, you're going to slowly kind of be turning your arm so that you've got your thumb down. And then when it gets to the point and wraps right there where it bounces, you're going to throw your finger, your thumb back up. So as you're kind of going, thumbs down, and then you pop it back up. All right. Um, same kind of deal with this hand, with this boy. You're going to practice wrapping it around, and then you, by rotating your hand, you can fling it back the other direction. And basically, then you just put them together. It can be kind of hard because um, you do have a lot of control when you're doing this method. Um, and you can control like how close this hand is. Sometimes you'll put it your left hand all the way up against your right forearm. But other times, um, if you want a faster wrap, it depends where exactly you're wrapping this one. If you're wrapping this on a wider part of your arm, you might give yourself a little bit of space like that. See, giving myself some space there. And you can do this overhand as well on the top of your arm, but that's kind of a different thing. And we'll just talk about underhand for now, which I feel is the, the main way that I do my spiral wraps. Um, so basically once you combine it, you might have this happen where they kind of go into split time and it's not a super good spiral wrap, but even when I go into it a little lopsided, I feel like the way that I fling out of it really fixes that split time. So again, um, practice one with each hand and then you're going to cross under with your left hand while you let your right hand start wrapping. Okay, and you're gonna just let those both wrap. Thumb is pointing down, and then as they complete their wraps, you just kind of flick that thumb straight up really aggressively, and it really springs them back. So, uh, thanks for watching the tutorial, and uh, I wish I could say this was a part of some sort of series, uh, but right now, no promises. All right, uh, have a good night.